I'm Anil Kumar, sharing with you proof of trigonometric identity. I'm going to apply this uh, identity as a substitution for solving some differential calculus questions based on inverse trigonometric functions. So uh, let's review what we had learned. Let me begin by uh, reminding you of cos 2x formulas, right? And then we'll actually prove square root of 1 plus cos x divided by 1 minus cos x equals to cotangent x over 2. So here you see half angle formula. So let's see how to get half angle formulas from what we learned. Now cos 2x could be written as 2 cos square x minus 1. Now if I divide these angles by 2, I mean if I replace them by something which is half of 2x, I could also write this as, for example, cos theta. So where theta is half of this, right, equals to 2 times cos square half of x is theta for theta by 2, right? So theta by 2 is half x minus 1. Do you see? So what I did was that I replaced 2x with theta. So x is equals to theta by 2. Is it okay? Theta is any angle. So, so you could take any angle like this. Similarly, we also had another formula for cos 2x, which is 1 minus 2 sine square x. Now, this also could be modified in the similar fashion. So, we can also write cos theta equals to 1 minus 2 sine square theta by 2. So, in doing so, we have converted our formulas to half angle formula correct you can actually isolate these terms and then create another formula which i'll do uh, so so if i take sine square theta by 2 on this side we get sine square theta by 2 equals to 1 minus cos theta and same thing if i do with let me write 2 here right so 2 times so we get 2 times cos square theta by 2 equals to 1 comes this side so 1 plus cos theta correct so so these are the formulas which we have derived from the known formulas now i think it'd be easier for me to prove this identity right so you can see the proof yourself so let's get back to the question so that's kind of the background which is kind of important as most of my students by this time have forgotten what they learned about compound angle trigonometry so, so using this set of formulas, I'll prove this. So let's start with the left side, which is equal to square root of 1 plus cos x divided by 1 minus cos x. Now 1 plus cos x, as you can see, could be written as 2 sine square x by 2, right? So, so I could write this as 2 sine square x by 2 half angle formula right similarly 1 minus cos x i mean i'm sorry I wrote it the other way okay so let me redo it so 1 plus cos x is cos square right so it is 2 cos square x by 2 and 1 minus cos x is sine square x by 2 2 times sine square x by 2 square root right now here you can see 2 and 2 cancel, so you get cos over sine, which is cot square. So we get cot square x by 2 within square root, and square square root becomes cot x by 2. So that is the proof for us, correct? So you'll always take the positive value in this particular case, so we get <coughs> cot x by 2. So that's the proof for this identity. Square root of 1 plus cos x divided by 1 minus cos x is cot x by 2. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope it is absolutely clear. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.